So we got a 6150R that we come out to look at today. And customer complaint was that it's like the thing would uh, go to neutral while he's driving and sometimes when he tried to put it in gear, it wouldn't actually go into gear on the forward reverser part of it. And so he sent me some codes. They all look like they were communication codes. So we're gonna see what's going on with this one. We got the codes pulled up here. It's got quite a few in here. And the count number on quite a few of them is 126, which is maxed out. It's the highest it'll count. And uh, all those are all dealing with uh, 0.09 codes, which is lost communication. We've got one right here that it's trying to toggle a little bit. So they must be trying to go active and just, and then sort again. So we're gonna check out our CAN bus voltage and see what our CAN voltage is. And uh, let's go from there. I've got the CAN and communication health wizard app going here. And uh, what it does, it kind of helps you with uh, communication stuff and you can see your CAN bus voltages and the error rate and a few other things. And when I first started this up, I never could get anything to screw up and our voltages looked pretty good. So I thought, well, let's just start, you know, looking around. Customer thought maybe we have some mice damage or something. And uh, so I just kind of inspecting everything, looking underneath the cab, making sure everything looked good underneath there. I thought, well, Let's check our battery connection, make sure we got a good connection there. And I looked in here and uh, I wiggled the positive there and I wiggled the negative there. And when I, I look and the, uh, this wire was just sitting there, just barely touching. It wasn't even making contact anymore. And uh, I started messing with it just a little bit. And all of a sudden I could hear the uh, display start beeping at me. And when I did that, my cam voltage just started going nuts and the error rate started jumping like crazy too so we just got a bad connection the uh, eyelet on that terminal there has uh broke off pretty well and so we'll we'll fix that up real quick and uh, we'll do some more test driving to confirm that it's fixed our issue this sounds like it's gonna be a pretty easy fix start off by stripping this back Plenty extra. So I'm gonna strip this back just a little bit. That is wire number 0330A. Gonna strip the wire. We got the new eyelet here. Got a good crimp on that. Go ahead and shrink that portion of it. Let that cool just a little bit. Then we'll slide the second piece of ink shrink over there just for extra protection. Put a couple rounds of tape on it as well. Really, I should have put some heat shrink over the top here, but I didn't have any big enough. Now we'll go ahead and take our nut. There is our old part of the eyelet there. We're good to go now. We'll go test drive it and see what it does. The broken eyelet on the ground post of the battery seems to have fixed the issue. After we test drove it, everything seems to be working good and no more codes. And so I, just, I was looking at the schematic to figure out exactly what, was, what that wire went to. And uh, it's a ground wire to the rear chassis controller. So right here is our battery and coming off, that's our main uh, ground cable going to the frame. And then coming off, there's that 330 wire that we had found and that says it goes to the rear chassis controller. If we look at the rear chassis controller, it's the, the ground for the actual controller there. We've got this one fixed again. So we'll return it back to the customer. At least this one was an easy fix. We'll return this one to the customer. You guys have a great day.